Boeing strike has just ended after seven weeks, the manufacturer is re-establishing the rules to get production back on track. Can Boeing catch up with its rival when Airbus has just released its huge plan for its new weapon? The future of Airbus's next generation aircraft is promised to dominate the skies with explosive features, opening a new era for the aviation industry. So what is the plan for the new aircraft? Will it help Airbus consolidate its advantage over Boeing? Let's find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you're new, please help us improve this channel even further by double checking that you've hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our updates. Now let's dive in. The global aviation industry is more competitive than ever, with new airlines and advanced aircraft models emerging. In this context, continuous innovation and the development of groundbreaking products are vital for Airbus to maintain its leadership position. Airbus CEO Guillaume Fourie emphasized that the Boeing 737 was launched 50 years ago, while the Airbus A320 has been on the market for 30 years. He revealed that Airbus is now preparing for a real revolution with a plan to completely replace old aircraft platforms, not simply upgrade like the move from A320 to A320, NEO, or from 737 Next Generation to 737 MAX. This will be a major shift with completely new technology and design, fundamentally different from previous improvements. Although a decade may seem like a long time, according to Forey, this actually means that this comprehensive replacement program will be implemented from around 2027 or 2028, and no later than 2030. Thus, in just a few years, we will witness the first steps of a new generation of aircraft from Airbus. This orientation is not only to meet current needs, but also to create a solid foundation for the aviation industry in the future, with outstanding improvements in performance, fuel economy, and sustainability which this new generation of aircraft will bring. Understanding the importance of this, Airbus has invested heavily in its research and development capabilities, particularly in the UK, where it has just inaugurated the new Wing Technology Development Center, or WTDC for short. This center will play a key role in research and testing, becoming the place to build demonstrators for many of the company's pioneering programs and projects. With state-of-the-art facilities, the WTDC will help Airbus accelerate the design, production, and testing of next-generation wings. By applying cutting-edge technologies, WTDC will support Airbus in continuously improving the aerodynamic performance of aircraft wings, a key factor in optimizing aircraft performance and fuel efficiency. Innovations in longer, thinner, and lighter wing designs will create major breakthroughs, contributing to reducing carbon emissions and accelerating the aviation industry's goal of net zero emissions by 2050. In addition, Airbus is exploiting biomimetic techniques to design aircraft inspired by nature, giving engineers insights into building lighter and more efficient aircraft. This approach not only reduces aircraft weight, but also improves fuel efficiency, meeting the increasing demands of airlines and passengers for sustainability and cost savings. In addition to aerodynamic improvements, Airbus is also accelerating research into clean energy aircraft concepts to replace traditional fossil fuels. Among them, hydrogen is emerging as a potential and promising candidate for the aviation industry. With the ability to emit no carbon when burned, hydrogen meets increasingly stringent environmental standards, contributing to the mission of mitigating global climate change, one of the biggest challenges today. Many governments and international organizations are also actively supporting clean energy projects, including hydrogen fuel, to promote the transition to a sustainable aviation industry. Investing in research and testing with hydrogen is not only part of Airbus's long-term innovation strategy, but also an important move to maintain competitiveness in the market and minimize future legal risks. In addition to protecting the environment, hydrogen engines also offer higher efficiency than traditional fossil fuel engines, creating a major economic advantage. Advances in hydrogen technology have the potential to revolutionize aircraft construction and operation, opening up new opportunities for Airbus in designing the aircraft of the future. Thanks to that, Airbus not only consolidates its pioneering position in the industry, but also lays the foundation for a green and sustainable aviation era. Airbus's Zero E project is opening a new chapter in the aviation industry, as it continuously explores many aircraft configurations and advanced technologies to turn hydrogen into an energy source for future aircraft. 
Not only stopping at researching hydrogen combustion techniques, this project also aims to build a sustainable ecosystem to produce and widely supply hydrogen, meeting the development needs of the aviation industry in the future. The project is currently testing three prototype aircraft, each designed to meet different flight requirements, but all based on hydrogen combustion technology. The gas turbines on these prototypes have been improved with new fuel systems and fuel injectors, allowing hydrogen to be used in a similar way to current jet fuel. The first prototype, the turbofan, is capable of flying over 2,000 nautical miles and carrying fewer than 200 passengers. It uses two hybrid hydrogen turbofan engines to provide thrust, offering superior performance and greater environmental friendliness. The second experimental concept, the turboprop, is designed for shorter routes with a range of more than 1,000 nautical miles and a capacity of fewer than 100 passengers. The two engines on the turboprop are hybrid hydrogen turboprops using eight bladed propellers to generate thrust, making it suitable for small and medium-sized transport needs, especially in areas with limited access to major airports. Finally, the blended wing body, or BWB for short, is a unique design with a blended wing body structure, which optimizes aerodynamics and interior space. The BWB has the same range and seating capacity as the turbofan, with two hybrid hydrogen turbofan engines providing thrust. This configuration not only reduces drag, but also saves fuel, offers higher efficiency, and opens up new avenues for future aircraft designs in addition to the hybrid hydrogen aircraft, Airbus is also developing a groundbreaking concept based entirely on electric propulsion, a bold step forward in the journey towards green aviation. This unique concept was first announced in December 20th of 20, when Airbus unveiled a prototype aircraft powered by an electric propeller system powered by hydrogen fuel cells. The system converts hydrogen into electricity through a chemical reaction, allowing the aircraft to operate purely on electricity without burning traditional fuel. By the end of 2023, the Zero-E project team reached a major milestone when it successfully activated the Iron Pod, a hydrogen-fueled propulsion system specifically designed for Airbus electric aircraft. The Iron Pod integrates a hydrogen fuel cell system, electric motors to turn the propellers, and temperature management devices to maintain stable system operation. With a capacity of up to 1.2 megawatts, the successful activation of the Iron Pod is a major milestone in Airbus's roadmap, affirming the potential of hydrogen electric propulsion technology and bringing the Zero project closer to the goal of putting hydrogen-fueled aircraft into commercial service by 2035. Airbus's Airspace Cabin 2035 Plus Vision is a revolution in the flying experience inviting passengers and the entire aviation industry to imagine a future of sustainable, comfortable, and luxurious air travel. Airbus aims to redefine every aspect of the flight journey from the cabin environment to the operations by leveraging advanced digital technologies, sustainable biostructures, and circular design. With this ambition in mind, Airbus has developed a detailed roadmap working with key industry partners to ensure that each step of development is geared towards transparency, low carbon emissions, and maximum reusability of materials. Airspace, Cabin 2035. Plus is not just a concept, but is also embodied in concrete products such as the C-Suite, the new business class seat that brings this vision to life. Developed in collaboration with Stelia, the C-Suite is an ultra-compact yet elegant design that ensures direct access via a common staircase and is particularly suitable for single-aisle aircraft. It not only optimizes cabin space, but also brings a new standard of comfort, promising to elevate the passenger experience of the future. With this new cabin concept, Airbus is aiming to build a flying space that is not only comfortable and classy, but also sustainable contributing to the goal of reducing the environmental impact of the aviation industry. The C-Suite is not yet an official product, as Airbus is cautious about calling it a concept and research, but when talking to Ingo Wugitzer, Vice President of Cabin Marketing, it is clear that this is one of the seating options that Airbus needs for its long-range single-aisle aircraft of the future. He called the C-Suite one of the real solutions, real concept ideas. Of course, that is in development, the seat concept, but it should inspire and guide the industry towards the right structural systematic approach. You also have things that are almost ready to go. 
They could be introduced now or one or two years from now. In addition, Airbus is actively researching advanced fuselage designs to create lighter and more efficient aircraft structures compared to current models. The aircraft fuselage is not merely a container for passengers and cargo. It houses essential systems, including electrical, mechanical, pneumatic, and hydraulic networks that support the plane's operation. Traditionally, these systems are installed after the fuselage assembly, adding significant cost and production time. Furthermore, these systems contribute considerable weight, which can reduce fuel efficiency. By developing a fuselage that is lighter and easier to produce, Airbus can offset these challenges, potentially lowering manufacturing costs and boosting the aircraft's overall efficiency. One promising approach involves the use of carbon fiber reinforced thermoplastic polymer composites, or CFRTP for short, a high-tech material that could transform fuselage production. Known for being moldable at elevated temperatures and solidifying upon cooling, CFRTP composites allow for the construction of seamless fuselage sections with far fewer fasteners, as their natural strength reduces the need for heavy metallic joints. This feature alone could contribute to over 10% in structural weight savings per aircraft when CFRTP is combined with innovative cabin and cargo technologies. The benefits of thermoplastics extend beyond weight reduction. CFRTP composites are not only strong and lightweight, but also offer a distinct advantage in sustainability. They are far easier to recycle and reuse compared to traditional metallic and carbon fiber components. As Airbus seeks to streamline production processes, reduce environmental impact, and enhance aircraft performance, integrating CFRTP fuselages stands out as a pivotal step. With this cutting edge material, Airbus moves closer to realizing a next-generation aircraft that is both more sustainable and more economical, aligning with its broader vision of aviation's future.